feels right. It's always the same. It's just a shame. That's all. I could say day and you say night. Tell me it's black when I know that it's white. Always the same. It's just a shame. Alright, welcome back to SOS. I'm Stas Armbadas. And today I've got Deets. Deets. They didn't send this to me. I buy this stuff myself, just so you guys know. Um, this is something that was recommended by Rob and a whole bunch of other folks down in the comments section. They were like, man, get a Deets, man. It's you don't you don't buy that cheap Walmart lantern stuff. And I had dogged out the Walmart lantern because it did leak. It did. I, now some of them don't. You might get one that doesn't leak, but this goes back to testing your gear, testing what you have in an emergency situation, power outage, freezing cold, winter hits, uh, transformers explode, uh, flaming cats shoot out of trees and barrel, barrel cats are on fire running up the street, taco trucks flip over and uh, a pirate ship rolls up and launches a cannonball at, you know, it's a cannon fight between them and a taco truck. All right, so doesn't matter what happens. I'm just kind of making jokes about the crazies out there that kind of do this whole, the, you know, uh, they 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 picture people all bloody and gas mask and stuff running up and down the streets naked or something. I don't know what's going on with these people, but this was the idea brought to me by you guys. So here it is, and I'm going to open it and check it out, and it looks cool. All right. See, I read the comments. You guys, I read the comments. Trust me. I I read so many comments. I it would make one person go insane from reading so many messages all day. But I read and almost respond to every single message. So, uh, let's go ahead and open this thing up and give this thing a try out. All right. Let's go ahead and unpackage some of this stuff here. Get the packaging out of here. But yeah, try out your gear, man. You don't know. You might have some trash laying around your house that you say, well, in an emergency, I'm going to grab that and it's going to be great. You know, is it going to be great, Bob? Is it is it going to be great? Because I have this feeling that your trash ain't going to work and you're going to be sitting there staring at it and, and go, you know what? I was hating on BA for all that time. You know, I should have listened to B.A. He was right. I should have tried out my stuff. I'm not the only one who says you should test your gear. There's a lot of other channels out there that say the same trash. You know what I mean? They say the same thing. They tell you, hey, look. Man, you better try out your stuff. But this, but this was like one of those lantern companies that uh, apparently if, if you don't know, you better know. Because they've been around since 1840. And uh, I guess every mountaineer on the planet knows about this company. They make very unique lanterns. They make the wide base lanterns that burn for uh, you know several days or whatever. They they do. They actually it's like they might as well just list on their days instead of hours. But uh, the hours I like. I was reading the hours. It's like uh, couldn't you just put days that it will burn anyway. Yeah, this is fi finally I have something that's, uh, see you got nice tape protection around here and everything. I'll, I'll get all this off in a minute. I'm not going to nitpick with all this stuff. Let's just kind of take a look. Wow, that is really cool. And you can tell the difference in the quality. And you know, I'm going to, I'm going to be honest. There's 10 bucks difference. I'm being, I'm being honest. So you're going to spend 10 bucks at Walmart on, this is the Millennium 2000. So if you're looking for this model, this is the Millennium 2000. I'll have, uh, I'll, you know what I'll do? If I'll do you guys a, a solid, and I'll put, I'll put the links to where I found this, uh, in the uh, drop down, so you guys can find it as well. But super high quality. This, this is like, I mean, you can tell the difference right off the bat. This is, I mean, you can even, you've got a little rib for every little space where they've actually crimped this up. So, I mean, it's totally different. It's completely different. You just feel the difference between this and one of the Walmart brands. But you're paying an extra 10 bucks. 
to get quality, to get something that's not going to break. Dependability, right? I know I'm going on about that, but I'm not trying to make it sound like a commercial or an ad. I just, I, you, I can't stress that enough. All right, so the way this works, here's your top part here. You fill this little guy up with uh, uh, your lamp oil. And, hang on. There it goes. It's going. There it goes. Bring this in. Just give it a twist and then you just uh, set this in here. You might have to hold this still. I'm going to lift it up. Put it still. There we go. That'll work. Doesn't have to be super duper tight, but yeah, that works. Anyways, just like this. Make sure it's nice and solid. And it'll go just like that. Now, over here, so you just take your little cap off and you get base mounting. This is, uh, you get pins. They're like tent pole pins, right? These are like your tent pins. They do the same thing, same thing. This is your, this is your base. So you can pin it, put it here, here. There we go. And that goes right on the bottom, just like that. Now you can pin it to the deck where you are with your pins and it won't tip over, right? Because you've got food up here now. You're just gonna be doing food, right? So there's that, and there's your pins. I'm just moving that out of the way. There you go. And then there's that. Okay, so next thing, this is what everybody wants to see. This is cool, I mean, uh, not, I mean, maybe for, maybe you and someone else, you know, not for, you know, a large family or anything, but if I'm just kind of brewing some coffee or whatever, here's a little pan. <laughs> I know, right? There's your lid. There's your, I mean, I'm sure you could probably come up with some way of doing this. That would close up. Yep. I'm so smart. See there? Just like that. Anyways, this is, that's your pan. Now, there's another one here. There's a little pan there. And this would be great for what we got here. I like to play jokes with people. Uh, I covered this up one time when I was camping. This is the Bushes home style. I covered this up one time. <laughs> I can't remember. It's like one of my sister-in-law or something. But uh, I went like that. It's like, look at that. 90, 98% fat. You know, I was like, look at that label. 98% fat. Like, what? that can't be right. It's like, no, nah, I'm just kidding. You know, and I kind of took it off. But anyway, uh... <laughs> <laughs> I'm a lot of fun to camp with. I kind of goof off, but uh, uh, this is a uh, boom, boom. You know, it's that's about the serving size I'd put in something like that. These would be great going to pack. You know, you got uh, you got something like this. You got light, you got fire, you know, and all that. You just you just light this thing up, and you got a little bit of heat. So it's nothing outrageous, right? So something to consider for environments. I'm not saying this is should go in your bug out bag. <laughs> I'm not saying it, but in, in, a, in an emergency situation, I mean, you want to cook some, it wouldn't take, it doesn't take very long for this to heat up and this to cook, I'm just saying. And you could feed somebody real quick and then mix up another batch real quick just with that. Uh, same with the beanie weenies as well. There's a whole bunch of little individual cans of stuff. And it's, uh, this goes into the next one here. If you took this one down, then you've got this guy here, which is more like a coffee cup right so this is more like a coffee cup like a little canteen cup so, something like that so you can drink coffee out of in same same process with this one it's right up there and it's a lot bigger than the other one it's a little bit bigger in size but this would be good if you had something like this thanks again mark for sending these this is uh something else you could you could do one of these guys in there not like that. I mean, you got to open the package and pour it in, but uh, fill this guy up with some water and boil some water. Let's take a look at this thing. Let's fire it up. All right, here we go. 
And these are stackable for those that are probably going to ask. I mean, you could probably put water in one and food in the other or something and cook it on it. All right. Cap off. I don't need it. A little strainer would be all right. Shouldn't be too much. Well, it looks like I might add some more to it. Gotta get the wick to pick up. See, someone was asking, I said, hey man, there's a thing that's called editing your videos, so you should probably start editing your videos. Dude, this is an unedited channel. Well, I sort of edit, but when you make a video per day, you know, I'm not doing talking points, I mean, if I, if I just sit around doing talking points, then sure, you know. But there's so much like DIYs and all this other stuff. I mean, it's hard to sit around and edit all day. All right, there we go. That's it. There it goes. It's one thing you want to do is kind of move it around a little bit. This is what I do with mine. Get that wick. There it goes. Now it's nice and got set up. Okay. Lift your base up. Trying to make sure I get that down to okay. There it goes. Get that turned. There we go. There. up some there you go make sure your base and everything's where it needs to be if you want to get all fancy you can turn your glass around it's got that name going right in front of your face let's not get weird okay let's do this all right so i've got my water up here for the coffee and i've turned it down to where it just doesn't smoke that's it that's all I've done. Uh, you just you bring it down until it, it quits smoking, and then you're good. And just let it do its thing, and uh, check on it. And I'll let you know how much time it takes. Okay, I'm at three minutes, and it's already starting to form bubbles and steam. The experimentation of this product, I have discovered that it takes 18 minutes to boil water with the lid on so the lid has to be on and you need mittens all right so i've got my kitten mittens you know <laughs> what is it always sunny anyway that show always sunny he's all oh boy he's talking about kitten mittens <laughs> anyway i quote way too much tv trivia stuff look at that yeah yeah so 18 minutes will bring your will bring your coffee to to a boil bring your water to a boil and you know when does water get disinfected right it's at a uh, boiling point right there's no time limit for those of you that want to know time for disinfecting water and treating water boiling boiling water it it hits right at boiling point when it when it as soon as you see the first bubbles You'll be good to go. All 
Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's good. Woo! Forgot how strong that stuff is. Well, that's some espresso right there. All right. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this helps. I'll put a link below if you guys are looking for this thing. It, like I said, they don't sponsor me. I don't sponsor them. I'm just, well, I do sponsor them kind of because I'm kind of telling you about it. But I think it's cool. And I needed one. And I needed one that didn't break. So there you go. And if you're watching this, West, I'm Stassar and Badass. Have a beautiful, fabulous, fantastic day. Rainbows and unicorns. God bless. Take care.